to go through communications. Okay. So his got more or less got got the the uh, magic the floppy disk that I guess uh, it possessed it. Oh, hi. You're dead. And then I clear cleansed it, and now it's you know, now it's mine. <clears throat> oh shit! Another door I can't open. No clearance. Oh, what's this? Oh, nothing. Wait, some of these doors can open now. Wait, I've, I've been in here. Okay. So. I gotta go back this way. Alright. Wish me luck. I hit the wrong button. Is this the supposed to go straight down? Okay, well, let's go. Emily said that the hotline can be reached through the mail room. Does not sound happy. Oh, Jesus. I'd like to hear, like, I don't know what it's saying. I'm very curious. Let's see what this says. Uh, oh, let's look at it. There we go. I'm not going to read it quite yet. Launch efficiency. I don't know what that is, but I'll take it. So let's look and see what it does. Oh, it's for like. Okay. For my power. I like that there's several different ways I can dispatch people. I think that's cool. I'm very interested in what's in here though. Break the window. This, the window's too powerful. Mail room. Well, that's where I gotta go. And I can't go in there. There's a key Maybe I'll just break the window. Well, it says to go here. Oh, I think I just cleansed this area. This must open the door. This guy, like this, this thing that just talks, loves to bitch at me. And stop talking. That worries me. Oh, yeah, that's not horrifying. They can fly now. Great. Stop. Stop it. Just throw shit at you, bitch. Not today, Satan! Run! Hey, bitch! Hmm. 
Give me your life. Give me your life essence. Put this bitch about halfway dead. Yes! Run away from this, you fucking cocksucker! Fucking Tinkerbell! Oh, really? I went through all that shit so you can get away? I have a feeling he'll be back. I have a feeling he'll be back too. Let's stay focused. The hotline should be past the mailroom. Ugh. Arg. Okay, so... Ah, is this level one clearance? Yeah, yeah! Well, I'm sorry you're dead. Voices and other phantasmagorical phenomena. Doctor tells Thanks. Whoa. This is something I experienced while staying at the Chili Pines Hotel in Maine for last year. I was in room 47. The night manager, an avid listener of the program, insisted I take this particular room. Manager explained that years back, the body of a man was discovered under the bed. Huh. Inside that wooden border that motel beds tend to have. And the body had been there a week, he said. Guests had stayed there, sleeping with the corpse a foot alone. They only found the body when housekeepers complained about the smell. Hauntings have been reported in room 47 ever since. Mm. I happily took the room. I fell asleep pretty quick, checking under the bed first, of course. No ghosts visited me, no chilly spots or flickering lights. But when I woke up, I found myself under the bed. Huh. It was dark and stiflingly hot. Luckily, I was able to push the mattress off and crawl out before I suffocated. The night manager was kind enough to find me another room. <laughs> there you have it, listeners. What we call ghosts take many forms. Quincy was brave enough to tell his story, and I encourage you to keep calling and writing whenever you encounter something That's strange. That's kind of cool. Something you can't explain. Maybe you're seeing colors that we have no name for. Maybe your toaster is possessed. Remember, dear listeners, when no one else believes Possessed you, toaster? That's a Ghostbusters reference if I've ever heard one. Anyone in here? The radio. House memory. Nothing going on here. Oh, I hit the wrong button. So... It wants me to go in that big circular room. I got a little sidetracked. So, here we go. I gotta go back down. I'll, I'll come back to you. See this asshole again. Butte summary. Uh huh. What's, what's 
What's going on here? Alberto Tomasi, head of. Oh, I gotta. Okay. The hiss got him. All right, take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Huh. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, when the odds at all tonight, it would show up inside a U.S. Embassy. Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Are you still recording this? <laughs> so, hotline chamber. The hotline can't be far now. Oh, okay. That's all that was. We're to fire boost. That works. Okay. Not much going on here. Okay, we're in a hotline chamber. That's cool. There's some pretty paintings on the wall. And I hear the right. I hear the. I hear it ringing. Oh, there's something over here. Floppy disk, okay. Time to check out this hotline. The Ocean View Motel and Casino. Oh no. Dream logic. The light switch cord. The door marked with the black pyramid. Is that all you had to tell me? That was a weird thing to say. Notice! Ocean View Motel and Casino Entry Point. Light Switch. Law of Three. Stand here. Mind of the Gate. So... I... 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 I how? Have we been here before? Oh. No. I've stayed at a lot of roadside motels across the country. On the road, on the run, under the radar. This feels like all of them. Like something recognized from a dream. Hmm. Okay, so I just had to click the thing and then it brought me here. So this is the Ocean View Hotel, and so this is probably ding. Hello, anyone here? Ding, ding, ding. Wait, it's opening doors. Okay, something's going on here. I ring the bell and doors open. Okay, so what's in here? Gander's closet. Okay, that's custodial. So, a door opened. One of these, is this one of the ones where like the bed, like remember it told me a story earlier about about one of these rooms being haunted like or something with a bed and a dead body under it so is that gonna come back to me? are we gonna see this? huh keys he has a black pyramid on it okay you said something about that a door with a black pyramid, I think. Okay. I don't think it's this one. Black pyramid, there it is. Look at that. That's me. Do it again.
That's an interesting way of getting to this thing. Well, let's talk to the Ghostbusters. What? Complete the astral plane challenge. I guess this is my next power. Okay. So what's the challenge? What am I supposed to fuck? Hotline will allow you to con contact interdimensional entities. Okay. Like this, obviously. So, ah! Okay. What? Ow, hey, stop it! Ow, that hurts! That hurts! No, ow, ow, ow! No, fuck you! Ow! How do I. How do I contact you? Okay, well that doesn't work. How, how am I supposed to contact you? Oh, that's like... That's cool. That's, I'm shooting... I probably don't have the power yet. I had the phone ringing. I was just supposed to get past those things, I guess? Climb, there we go. Okay. Let's see. Hello, this is Juan. It is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is, under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. Okay. Seven days. A director needs a team. My management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Hmm. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. Hmm. But things change when you become director. Huh. Oh, no, okay. I have it. The hotline. I can reach Trench. Well, listen to him. He feels more like an echo. An echo with important info. I need to get back to Emily. Let's get back to Emily. People react strongly when I tell them about you. Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. We'll find your mom not together. What are you? Stop it!